Hello Capricorn, welcome to another timeless general love reading. Please keep in mind it is general, so it's not going to resonate for everyone for sure. And it is timeless, so whenever you're drawn to the reading is when you're meant to get the messages. Please take a look at your moon and rising signs as that'll give you, just it just gives you more information, gives you a more well-rounded view of this timeline that you're watching here. Thank you all for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up as it allows the video to circulate for others. There we go. Okay. Capricorn, first card out. Five of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ooh, the star card, nice. Three of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. Now, this is the center card in your spread, so it becomes part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. And you have the King of Cups. King of Pentacles. Three of Swords. And the Hierophant, nice. Okay, bottom of the deck and part of your overall energy, Princess of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Capricorn, let me take a look at your cards and get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through. Okay, let's get going. So, I want to start by telling you, if you <laughs> don't watch my channel, if you do, you already know this, but if you don't, this is where you're at-ish, because time is an illusion. This is where you need to head, where you are headed, okay? Overall energy, this is your journey from point A to point B. Now, your overall energy here... Ten of Swords and Princess of Pentacles. This is you in crisis. This is reaching a place of critical mass where, I mean, you know, the Eight of Swords is limitation limitations that are brought on by you. The Nine of Swords is escalated from the Eight of Swords to a place of mental conflict, anxiety, mental fatigue. But you jump to the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, it doesn't get worse than that. That is escalated to the highest level of... You're just... It feels like you're overanalyzing everything to the nth degree. And it's really causing problems for you. In your head, though, it's just in your head. The Princess of Pentacles in this de deck is, is the goddess of fertility. So this is all about birthing something new. This is all about shifting into that new way of being, that new new you, the new way of thinking, the new way of feeling. I feel like you're struggling. The entire spread basically talks about you struggling mentally with making this, this shift into um, raising your, your consciousness to a higher state of being and living your life from a place of intuitive guidance rather than following everybody else and the way that everybody else on the planet thinks you should live and the way you should be and think and feel. Okay, so... Uh, it's a real struggle. If you notice down this row here, you have nothing but swords, eight of swords, ten of swords, three of swords. But it's 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 all created within you. That's it. But know that what you're going through here, it's normal. It truly is the norm. 
it's it's all about breaking free. You're you're breaking free of an old way of thinking. I'm not sure you have a problem with the emotional side of it because you have the swords. So this is you having to change your thought patterns, your belief system, and that's what you're struggling with. But that's it's normal. It's totally normal. It means you are growing, you are shifting. You wouldn't be going through this if you weren't. So we'll go through the messages and the guidance here and what's what's going on and, and what you need to do. So don't allow this to take you backwards, okay? Because that's what the Five of Swords or Five of Wands is telling me. That is all about you prior to this making that shift from 3D to 5D, from ego to intuition, right? And you're finding it challenging. So what happens is when we start to make a shift like this, we are comfortable where we are, we're stable where we're at, and then we start to make a shift into a new direction, and there's uncertainty, there's uncomfortability, and that sometimes will throw us back into the old way of being and thinking and doing, because it's just, it creates fear or negativity around us. You just want to go back to what's certain, but it's no different than starting that new job that is a brand new position that you've never had before, you've never experienced before. And you take the job because maybe you're you're really desperate to get out of the job you're in, you don't like it anymore, or it, you're not making enough money. So you take a new job with a brand new position because you need the money. And that first day on that new job, you're terrified. You're thinking, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this? Because this is something I've never done. But you do it because you need to. You need the money. And there's a, a big learning curve, absolutely. But you do it. You manage. And you do it a great job. And you spend the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years doing this job. And, and no issues. It's just that initial first step that you have to take and get past. So what you need to do is just keep moving forward. Move through this. Don't allow it to create limitations in your forward movement, in your growth, your expansion. Gain the clarity. Gain some spiritual knowledge because that will give you the clarity. And once you have the enlightenment or the clarity, the knowledge about the direction you're heading in, that will bring hope for you, for the future. And that eases that, that tension and that fear of moving forward just enough that you do, you are able to bring this to fruition because that's what the Three of Pentacles is telling me. You have a knack for bringing things to fruition, for creating greatness in your world, okay? And the King of Cups in this deck, he is the God of the arts. So this is about you getting creative, finding a way to be creative. The creativity, what that does is it pulls you out of yourself. It pulls you out of your head. And it allows you to focus on something that isn't your future. It isn't your, your past. It isn't your fear. It's... It's fun. It's exploring something new. Now, this could be any any of the arts that you're interested in. Acting, singing, dancing, painting, drawing, whatever it may be. Music, right? Get creative. That's going to help you draw out of this, draw yourself out of this, this darkness, this uncertainty. You also have the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles in this deck is the King or the God of Prosperity. So, you see your journey here? You head for prosperity. Three of Swords is doubts. Don't go back there. Don't allow yourself to doubt this. 
have faith. Have faith and trust that all is going to be well, that all will happen for your highest good, okay? And this is a card of, of faith and trusting, not controlling. This isn't a time to control or steer the direction of your movement. This is all about allowing, okay? Gaining the spiritual knowledge will bring the hope that you, and, and throwing that into uh, a creative endeavor will allow you to get to that place of allowing rather than controlling because that's what's happening up here. You're releasing the need to control your life or steer it because that's the human way of doing and being. Your intuitive way of doing and being is allowing, knowing that the universe knows exactly what it is you want. Your soul knows the direction it needs to move in and the direction it wants you to move in, and it is going to guide you. So get creative so that you can get yourself into that state of not overanalyzing everything, not overthinking everything, letting go of the thought processes, just being and allowing. That's what's going to move you forward and allow you to gain that higher state of consciousness, which is what you're working toward. Now, Gaining spiritual knowledge truly does bring clarity and it brings a comfortability that you don't have right now. You're, you're struggling with that. That's why you're struggling. You're not feeling comfortable where you're at making this shift. Now, if you don't know where to go for spiritual knowledge, Hay House, Mind Valley, YouTube for Abraham Hicks and Dr. Joe Dispenza, they will help you immensely to gain the knowledge that you need spiritually to move forward. Hay House is all about spiritual learning through books and online courses. Mind Valley is all about online courses, but they also have webinars that are free. Now, their webinars are an hour to an hour and a half long. They're amazing. I've taken many of their webinars, and they're free. That's the best part, but you're still going to learn something. And then, of course, they have the online courses that you can purchase if you can afford. If you can't, check out their webinars. Hay House has sales ongoing. Uh, they just had a sale where they have books and, and some courses, 10 bucks. It's a great place to start. Okay, so let's get you a synchronicity, ooh, oracle card. Wow, okay. Ooh, that was really fast. Now they want me to look at the bottom of the deck here. Come on, camera. Nothing is as it seems right now. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever it is that's causing you to th these limitations or feel the limitations, it's not as it seems. It's an illusion. Keep moving forward. Gain the knowledge. I can't stress this enough. Meditate and, and gain some spiritual growth in knowledge. That is what will bring the clarity and allow you to bring this to fruition. Because right now, you are at a crossroads. Do I stick to what's comfortable, what's certain? and stay in the 3D, or do I make that shift and stay in 5D, even though it feels uncomfortable and uncertain? Absolutely make this shift, Capricorn. You will not look back. Once you gain some, some knowledge and clarity and move forward and start to create this, this prosperity for yourself, the doubts will disappear and the faith takes over and and allows you to move forward without effort. You don't have to steer your life. You just need to move in the direction you're guided to move in. It's so simple. But the reason you are struggling the way you are is because you are going through life-altering changes right now. And it is uncomfortable, but it does get easier. It's like that brand new job I was talking about. Now, I created, ooh, I created this deck. And about half the deck is numbered. 
and that's why it's called Synchronicity Oracle, because the numbers are synchronistic messages to you. If you aren't seeing 555 up to this point, you may start seeing it. That's what it represents. You're going through life-altering changes. These are big changes. That's why it feels so uncomfortable. And it's the uncertainty that wants to throw you back into 3D. Don't let it. Keep moving forward. Trust this is the right direction for you. You are going to do this. You do have what it takes to do this, Capricorn. You will make it. This says you're going to make it. Get creative so you can, you can create prosperity in your life. So you don't have the doubts. So that this, this way of being here, these the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, don't go further and create doubt. Okay? Have faith. I'm going to grab you a Just Ask Oracle card for further guidance. Please and thank you, angels. Ooh, okay, thank you. That one definitely needed to come out for you. Oh, not a good idea right now. Whatever it is you're thinking about doing, um, it could have to do with you backing out of this 5D and heading back to 3D because it feels more comfortable. That's not a good idea. But for some of you, there is something that you've been thinking about, something that you've been wanting to do, Whatever that is, you all know who you are and, and who that resonates with, okay? It's just not a good idea right now. So you definitely are not in the right energy to move this forward easily and quickly. If you would like to know what it is that you need to do, be, think, and or feel to turn this around and focus yourself so that you can get to this place in 5D, it's where you want to go. I promise. I promise this is a good direction for you. Click the link below. We'll go into my website, into the Extendeds, and we will get that guidance for you. Those of you that are going into the Extended, I will see you over there. Those that aren't, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.